I always take the long way around to the entry door just to make sure there's not a cone or line guy set in front of me to kill me. Make sure my air inlets are clear, no red gear, no pedo cover. All right, looks good for this little flight. All right, I'm gonna start by turning on the battery. Talk system test, okay. Or a warning, okay. Okay, door is extinguished, looks good. Set the parking brake. Parking brake is set. I like my traffic on traffic two. Tunker bars up. Fuel on board sink. We'll load the flight plan after we get some air conditioning in here. Go ahead and turn on my oxygen so I don't forget it. Strobes on, just going through my flow. Propful Ford. Main generator, ice panel, inertial separator is off. I go ahead and start it in on position. We'll talk more about that. Some people go to start. Okay, going across here, manual. We have uh, fuel looks good. Turn stage, Columbia 372 Alpha Tango. Okay, ignition auto, I always leave that on. Starter is off. Okay, we're going to jump right to the before, I'm sorry, the four star checklist. Cabin door, extinguish, baggage, seatbelt, put my shoulder strap momentarily, crash bar, generator source, main start, we leave that on, oxygen, condition lever is cut off, prop full max, door cast is extinguished, we have at least 24 volts, very important for a turbine, okay, start, go through here, just flow right to left, auto, Okay, we have NG rotation, introduce fuel. Ready for a board if I need it. Okay, stabilize 698, ITT is being reduced. All right, NG is gonna climb through 51%. NG is through 51. Condition full forward, starter off, fuel pumped auto, go ahead and do auto on the fuel selector and all the trams. Was, uh, hardly readable, very odd there. Let's see, uh, I heard 3010 on the meter, should be around 1400 field elevation. It is 3010, set right and cross check. Let's check this out. We got, I see how calm one is working because I would say that's a little odd. Bernie stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha radio check. I'm clear, 372 Alpha Tango. Thanks, guys. Was ATIS pretty weak for you all? I didn't pick it up at all. All right, before we even start rolling, I like to do my prop feather. So right now we just bring the prop lever all the way back to feather position. We wait a couple seconds. Hovers around 500. All right, that's good. And go back up to full prop. While we're waiting for that, we're gonna go do the generator test. Go to the standby position, 
press standby. We should see the backup generator picking up the load. That right here, that looks good. Going back, you have to make sure your battery amps are under 50 because your second generator is limited at 50. All right, so main generator picked it back up. We have um, we have our prop back around 1100. We're on feather one more time. We're just looking for it to get to about 700. It's going back in the feather, so I'll put that back. And let's see, for our flight plan, we filed instruments, but it's a beautiful far day. You know, we'll just pick it up in there. We're planning on direct. You know, for good practice, it's always good to have it in backup. If we do want to pick up IFR and they say clear is filed, let's see. Okay, Gobby, that's all they have here. All right. After start checklist, all right, really going on the top panel, avionics on, trims where they need to be, fuels auto, I'll make sure it switches over. It does, and we're balanced. Auto ignition starters off. Main, main normal position. We're going to throw the tax right on. Everything's in the green. Fuel flow, PSI, battery amps, and oil temperature 74. Celsius ITT looks good. All right, we're going to start rolling. Uh, you know what? Plan on VFR. I'll go over there at 13.5 only. 160 miles. Park brake off. Inertial separator on. I'll go ahead and turn bleed air on. Right here, this is normal inertial separator on for ground ops. Don't need our pedo stall heat just yet. Bernie stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, taxi from the west hangars to runway 17 Bernie stage. All right, I'm going to check my beta. It just sounds cool. Out of my motto, it's either required or you do it for style. And we have one more check to do. We run the governor up to checked over speed. We're looking for 19. RPMs. Really need to make sure you're level on this TBM, even with the parking brake, full brake pressure. This bird wants to go with these 700 ground horsepowers. Let's see. Am I seat up for this one? Alright, looking for about 19 RPMs. Okay, the overspeed is corrected by the overspeed test. Alright. Good to go. Go ahead and turn on the lights. For my iCast messages here, my stall heat leave my inertial separator on. Almost time to run my last checklist. Grim, tap and flap. We have flaps that could hurt you. Bernie say traffic to EM236, Echo Alpha back taxi 17 Bernie. Bernie stage traffic helicopters four miles to the west at 2100, transitioning to the northeast will be passed and just north of the field. Okay, park brake, land lines, tax lights, fuel pump. Went through the top panel again. A bleed air, things that will kill me. I have my flaps. My bleed is on for pressurization. Air conditioning, that will kill you in San Antonio. You need that. Um, we're good to go. All right, so we're... Lining up on runway 17, we're going to be bugged with the runway heading. All right, here we go. Looking for about 90, 95, or we're limited to 100 on the ground. Airspeed is alive, ready to abort if anything goes wrong. Have a D. Okay, 80 knots and rotate. All right, all right rudder there. No more available runway. Landing gear is up. See an issue throwing yaw damper on pretty early in this beast. And that. Okay, through 110 knots. Clear of obstacles. Flaps coming up. Bernie stage traffic. TBM 236 Echo Alpha is on the upwind runway 17. Bernie stage. Traffic here. 
Bernie Stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, right crosswind, runway 17, Bernie Stage. I'm going to go on TBM 850 mode, inertial separator off. Bernie Stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, turning right downwind, runway 17, Bernie Stage. direct to destination for now. Go ahead and accelerate to uh, more or less cruise climb 155 knots. We're light, it should be beautiful this morning. Over torqued, I've never done that before just fast. All right, look at this climb. This baby wants to climb. We're ISA plus 14. <laughs> this dog is fairly light. Here at 150 knots, we're not even showing off, but we're relatively light and sustained climb on this beast is probably 2,500 feet a minute. Send and approach, welcome, turn right lane 260, vector dial us final approach course, to and maintain 4000. Make sure my nose landing lights off, I leave the landing lights on through 10,000 feet. And cruise, we're looking at uh, flaps up, everything's full for landing gear up, we have our yaw damper on, max torque we're respecting 121%, inertial separator is off, no cast messages, this is good, we have the RA fail, I'm not too worried about that right now. Big thing for me, the 10,000 foot check. I'll do that now while I'm not busy. I'm going to head through oxygen on. Make sure the pressurization is set. So right now we're going under 13,000 feet. We really didn't have to touch this. So I'm just going to set destination again because we're low. We're looking at uh, 300 foot field elevation at 500. We're going to set this at 800 feet. Once we're through... Once we're at cruise of 13.5, our ears and body will actually feel at 800 feet. That's pretty awesome. But nice, comfortable flight. Feel very refreshed on this one. Okay, 2,000 foot a minute. And climb. Not bad, and that's at a cruise, more of a cruise climb setting. We'll accelerate a little bit. Good morning, San Antonio departure, TBM 236 Echo Alpha. TBM 236 Echo Alpha, San Antonio departure. Yes, sir, we're about 15 miles to the uh, northwest of San Antonio, climbing through 12,000 feet. We'd like to pick up VFR flight following or TBM. TBM 236 Echo Alpha, roger that. And uh, what's your destination airport and requested altitude and route? Des we're at TBM uh, 850 Slant Golf. Destination is College Station Easterwood, 13500. TBM 6 Echo Alpha Squawk 4510 on ident. 4510 ident, 6 Echo Alpha. TBM 6 Echo Alpha radar contact 15 miles northeast of Bernie Stage Airport, the Centennial Thermometer 3008. 3008, 6 Echo Alpha. Southwest 2920 Houston Center, good morning. Uh, clear direct El Paso, climb maintain, follow level 230, good right through 17,000 for traffic. Good right through 230, I'll be there in 25 minutes. Low Houston Center, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, 13.5, checking on. TBM 236 Echo Alpha, Houston Center, good morning. The Austin altimeter is 3007. 3007, 6 Echo Alpha. Check 10 miles northeast of Kerrville, show you uh, 4,900, the Gillespie County Altimeter 3012. Uh, Sam Rudy at 817, uh, Charlie Juliet with you on Horseshoe Bay. Now I'm right, 17, Charlie Juliet. Uh, Alpha Horseshoe Bay, stand by. You said November 817, Charlie Juliet, looking for IFR or VFR? Well, looking for IFR to 24 Romeo, it should be.
be on file. If not, we'll take it via foreign file, uh, filing. November 817, Charlie Juliet. Squat code 7233. We're not seeing it in the system IFR. 7233. And center 290 out of the airport, we can cancel. Center 290, if I can't say Okay, so right now we're at our cruising altitude of only 13,500 feet. ISA is huge. We are 15 degrees C warmer than standard. And at a very low altitude, we're burning a lot of fuel, 75 gallons an hour, but we're running really cool on ITT. Our limit's actually 121 degrees torque. Look at our true airspeed. We're hitting uh, 279, 279 knots true straight and level at only 13,005. What's interesting is if you really break down the operating costs per hour, depending on if you're a lessee or your owner, uh, jet fuel is not nearly as expensive as a tenth of the hops meter in most circumstances. So again, this is pretty awesome capabilities, the kinds of bugs we could smash here underneath the flight levels purely VFR. TBM's an amazing platform. All right, so let's see the weather here. We're looking at uh, not too clouds, 1,200, but that should be beautiful VFR. Looking at what I see outside. Enter negligible, temperature 29 degrees. Oh, so let's see, 29 times 2 is uh, 58 minus 10%, 53, 53 plus 32, that's, uh, that's 85 degrees Fahrenheit. A little airline trick there. So Solo let me so go in here and see down. what the runways look like. Delta looking for lower. November 1980 Delta. Well, I'd be happy with 17. That's probably the Delta runway. 8, 8, 8, and we could set up for a right base or right downwind of that. Or you know what? Runway, runway 11 would be just fine with the winds are light and variable. Runway 11, 5100 feet. That sounds Thank great. You, so we could take 1-1, one, 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 dog would get a base final 1-1, one, one, or they could give us a right downwind for 1-7, either one works. I like calling in range, it's probably Seven, from my nine, nine, zero, airline zero, days. Your radar contact, eight so, miles, and south, check this out, I haven't looked at my iPad airport, once. So I think it's great about the G1000, if you truly leverage the software to its fullest extent, you really don't have to bring out an EFB for any reason. Everything we need's here. I kind of like going to info page two, calling in range, just letting the FBO know that we're inbound and have that car playing side if you have passengers, things like that, or the wife on board and you want to impress her. Okay, where are we at here? Aston, huh, that fuel's expensive. Maybe I won't buy it today. 6186, Houston Center, welcome climbing, bubble 230. Aston, they are on 22. 95, they have a tower. We better get ATIS as well. I don't know if I'll pick up this far out. Eastwood Tower Permission X-ray, 1353 Zulu. Wind 2606, visibility 10, sky condition, few clouds 1200, temperature 29, 2.24, altimeter 3007. Localizer back course or RNAV approaching you, arriving departing, runway 17. Note them, taxi alpha closed. That ball's in this contact information, X-ray. X-ray. Close your back horse, huh? You know what? It's going to be a visual, but I will indeed back it up with the... Back it up with the RNAV runway 17. Vector is... Load it for now. is 250 feet minimum, so 250, and that is 571 decision height. I could enter it in a couple places in the G1000, barometric, 571, have to round Number up three, 10. Five, two, three, Welcome, call me, three, double, two, three, zero. We don't have the radio altimeter, so we have to be mindful of that. Center, see if one, it still six, gives point, us four, minimums, three. it actually may not, we'll have to see. So smooth out here. So smooth this morning, doing 279 knots true. 
at only 13,500 feet. Engines running cool, even though we're at uh, ISA plus 15, Austin Bergstrom out the side. Just a beautiful day in this plane. How long have we been flying? We've been flying for 16 minutes. And November 385, Charlie Conkey, Center, 126.42. 16 minutes. And we have 16 minutes left. They give us an approach that could add it a little bit. Southwest 2366, Houston Center, welcome, climbing team, level 230. There's some uh, little tricks and tips, uh, shorthands that you could use, such as descent plan. And I want to explain this. People love putting crossing restrictions in the G1000. There's a great feature I could show you on a later video. But this uh, little shorthand, 99% of the time, it works every time. You take your altitude to lose, 13,000 feet, multiply it by three, that's 39, so about 40 miles out, that's our top of descent. And then your vertical speed per minute required is going to be your ground speed in the descent, 300 divided by two is 150. Add a zero, that's 1,500 feet a minute needed to make your bottom of descent over the field or where you want to be. It works great, and the cool thing is it doesn't matter what kind of aircraft you're flying. All right, let's see if that matches what the GPS would say. So I could do ATC offset, and we'll just say we want to arrive over the field at 1,000 feet. MSL, and it's going to say that in two minutes, I'm going to have to descend for three-degree glide slope. I descend uh, two minutes from now. We're going about five miles a minute. So in 10 miles, so they're saying 40 miles out. I'm going to have to go 1,422 feet a minute, and I was saying 40 miles out, 1,500 feet a minute, building in some conservatism. So the trick works pretty well. Houston Center, TBM 6 Echo Alpha, begin in VFR descent. Number 6 Echo Alpha, contact Houston Center, 128.07. 2807, 6 Echo Alpha, good day. Good morning, Houston Center, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, begin in VFR descent, 13,500. TBM 236 Echo Alpha, Houston Center, Roger, College Station, altimeter 3007. 3007, 6 Echo Alpha. Aston Aviation, good morning, Aston Aviation, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, over. Aston Aviation, go ahead. Yes, good morning, ma'am, we are about uh, six, seven minutes out. Uh, I'm going to be on the ground only for about 30 minutes, uh, hoping to get a crew car just to pick someone up real quick. I'm going to maintain 8,000. Oh, Excellent. See you in a little bit. Let's turn direct. Set inertial separator. We're going to leave that off for now. We can't use it above 200 indicated. And autopilot still set. Pressurization, fuel plus 500. We have that 800 passenger brief in. Good. Altimeter is local 3007, right? And cross check landing lights on. And prop full forward. Don't need 850 mode anymore. We're not going to go over 100%. Sit Easterwood. TBM 6 Echo Alpha, Houston. contact the tower, 118.5 today. 18.5, have a great day. Okay. 18.5 is tower. That looks like we got ground. We'll put that in. Good morning, Easterwood Tower, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, 15 to the west, we have Yankee. Yeah, 236 Echo Alpha. Enter right downwind 17. Enter the right downwind 176 Echo Alpha. Plane like this, you have to remember your airspeed, so you can't be above 250 knots indicated below 10,000 feet. We're just under there at 237. Class Delta, I believe it's 200 knots, and under a shelf layer, uh, Charlie or Bravo, it's 200 knots as well. So we'll slow it as we uh, shallow in. We see the field straight ahead at 10 miles. I'm going to hand fly. It's a beautiful day. Let's enjoy this. All right, field is 300 feet. So 1,500, 1,800 is the turboprop altitude for the traffic pattern don't really need it, it just shows superiority, that's why we do it. And let this bad boy 
boy rumbled back a little bit. Smoking across ground. Slow down. All right, now speed control is something to plan on in here. I see my runway. Okay, I'm under 200 knots. Inertial separator is in motion. I'm going to turn my flight director off. It just distracts me. I go back to 30% here. OCD, I'm turning off my pedo and all heat. We're above 20 degrees Celsius. We're fine. Okay, see the field. We're on the 45 for right downwind 17. Go Alpha, runway 17, clear to land. 17, clear to land. Six echo Alpha. Okay, on this plane, when I get under 177, I can throw down first notch of flaps and the gear if I choose to. Okay. We're turning on the right downwind. We're a bit high, so first notch flaps. Landing gear. I'll hold my hand on this and make sure I have three green. Okay, three green down and locked. I'll bring power back to about 20 because I'm a little high. That looks good. of the pattern in this you could just buy 25 percent what i normally do is about uh one th 120 110 and about 100 on final short final i'll cross the numbers uh about 85 knots all right the beam we're going right base <phone rings> click in you here you may not hear it through the aircraft comms that is the trim to let you know it's in motion Three down and locked. Line of lights are on. All right, we should be turning final about 800 feet. Looking good. 122 knots, pretty low indicated airspeed. That's for my full flaps, slotted Fowler flaps. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Take a while to come down. Three down a lot. Back to about 23%. Fine tune in at this point. Three down unlocked. Full flaps. All right, rolling on to final on glide slope. All right, short final, Minimum. three down and locked. We're down to about 10% power, power. We're starting to trim. Turn left downwind, runway 1740 kilo. Air speed. Eastwood Tower, Central 1, Niner 665. Stall. 13 miles east, coming in back. When I was doing the PT-6 turboprop world, I had a misconception about beta. I thought when you throw it in beta, you know, you couldn't do it at low speeds because it's potential for ingesting FOD. Now, you don't want to use reverse thrust at too low of a speed, but you don't get reversed for thrust until you go back further and you, you actually feel the, uh, the spring tension. Beta, all it does is it goes to the zero pitch. You could use that to a stop. These things will taxi at 30, 40 knots if you let them go on I Alright, go ahead. Off the AC. Check. Power lever. Just going through the flow first. 
Thank you.